Hey everybody, Monkey Ridge Mike. We're back with my good friends at Copart here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, looking at all kinds of cars and trucks. And yes, that's my coffee mug right there, supporting my cowboys. We're out here on a beautiful day. It's gonna be in the 70s and it is still February, believe it or not. A lot of action here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're gonna focus on a Mercedes that a lot of people really, really love. No, they hate these cars. They really do, they hate them. Take a look at that beauty right there. 2008, yeah, it's the Mercedes Soccer Mom. Yeah, this is the R320 CDI. So it's the diesel version. You can get these in gas, but it's a van. It's like a Soccer Mom kind of a van. And I don't think it was very successful for Mercedes at all. This one has lots of damage. I don't know why they tried to appeal to so many people and why people don't like these but they don't 119,000 miles on this one has suspension issues as you can see right here but it's the diesel it's going to go forever and ever and ever and she feels really really short yeah she's got some flat tires she's got some damage everywhere but as you can see there's a lot of room okay you can take six people anywhere they want to go yeah i think it's a cool car i mean it's it is what it is. I mean, it's definitely just, you know, a people mover. But folks just hate them. I don't know why. I really don't. And I wish I could. Well, I guess I can get in the front door. I can't get in this one because it's sealed. So let's see if we can get in. The fronts, I don't know. The front, they're not the prettiest. They're not the prettiest cars. But this one, I guarantee you, will be very cheap. Oh, I can't get this door open. There's no way. Why did I even choose this car? Yeah, this is open. The window's broken. There is no power. And yeah, someone left the key on. So why did I choose this car? I don't know. To get your opinion, maybe. What do you think about the R-Class? Do you like them? Do you hate them? This, I think, get a couple of doors, some tires. You'd be okay for some of it. It does have some damage right here. And suspension work. Well, what a bummer. What a letdown for a first video. I'm sorry. Did I waste your time? I don't know. They tried to make it sexy with the tail lights right there. It is formatic. It'll get you where you want to go in the winter. But this one, yeah, she's too far gone. She's, it's different. That's what I like about them. I like cars that are different. But this one just isn't a candidate for me. So the hunt continues. Here's something I'm really interested in. I don't know why. Just these. I showed you the Cadillac Escalade EXT. This is the Chevrolet version. Avalanche Ultimate LX with a Foose Fade. No, I don't know. This is a... Someone tried. They tried their best. But I don't want to spend too much time on this because I opened the window open the door and I just had to close it back up. So are you ready? We're going to give you a quick peek inside of this and then we'll shut the door because it's not the most pleasant experience. Are you ready? Here we go. Voila. There's a far in there. Yeah, that's this is a hot mess. So this, it smells funky. It looks funky. And I just had to show you what happens when a car burns from the inside out. Woo, what a mess. It's a tale of two convertibles. You got the Mazda versus the Mercedes. What's it gonna be, Mike? Mazda, Mercedes. Mazda, nope, it's the Mercedes. The Mazda has a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah, she took a hard hit. This Mercedes looks great from uh, this angle right here. Okay. But she did take a bit of a hit back here, but it's not as serious as you may think. That's it. Okay, your wheel is a little crooked and you have some damage right in through here. So you do need to replace this piece right here, which to me looks like a bolt on. And there may be some damage underneath here into the trunk, which of course is gonna affect the movement of the trunk, which of course is gonna affect the movement of the top. It all ties together. So maybe it is a lot of work. Maybe it is. Maybe this is way too far gone to be viable, to be fixed. But 
Who has a Mercedes SLK? Who has a head gasket issue on a Mercedes SLK? Me, me. Who needs parts like a bumper and maybe an engine for Mercedes SLK? Me, me, I do. Yeah, right here. This could be a donor car depending on the price. What's the mileage? I don't know. I have not been in and this is a 2005. It's the exact same year as the one I have. Oh, and there's power. There's power. Okay. Well, I just got more and more interested. This is all of your junk. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of junk. What is this stuff? Deodorant? I can't even. Ugh. Okay. Well, excuse me. I'm just going to kind of slip in here beside you. Things are happening. Air is on. And here we go. Sounds just like mine. It sounds just like mine. There's a check engine light. <laughs> yep, there is a check engine light. Retractable roof in operation. No, it's not. It's kind of stuck. We don't want it to operate. It's not going to because it can't open the trunk. So she starts. She probably drives and she has lots of parts that I could use for my car. Wrong color. Uh, she has half the mileage of my car though. That's the big thing. Which one do I continue with? Do I rebuild this one using parts from the other one? It'd be easier. Half the mileage. <coughs> or do I go the other way? Do I take parts off of this car and put it on the silver one? Hmm, very tempting. And then part out what's left. I could probably make some money. See, now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking like an entrepreneur. Service C extended by 102 days. Exceeded by 102 days. Oh, that took you a while to figure out, didn't it? All right, so the SLK 350 lives. Will she come home with me? We're gonna watch, we'll watch the auction like everybody else, and if the price is right, we're gonna get it. And now for a very well-rounded ending, how about a 2011 Infiniti M37 with all of its swoopy design? Yes, you like these? I think it's a good looking car. I, I don't normally come to Infinities when I see them in yards like this. I don't know why, I just don't. It's just not in my wheelhouse. But this is a good looking car. Okay, there's a little scratch right here. She's dirty, I mean it rained. So we do have some water on the ground, but where's the damage? Why are you here? See, everything is so swoopy and bulgy. See, I like, it's different. It's a big car. It really is a big car and it kind of comes down right here. So it gives you a big rear end. Baby got back. Yes, yeah, she does. And look at this, talk about swoopy. This is a nice interior here. Oh my gosh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, swoop, swoop. Swoop out in front, swoop down there, swoop around here. Everything is curvy. There's nothing that's straight. See how this even comes out right here? All these bulges. This is gorgeous, this wood. How it's kind of darker and then lighter. Is that aging or was it like that when it was new? That's really pretty. And see the swoop? Whew. Oh my goodness, this is a nice car. This is a very nice car. I don't think we have power though. Come on, come on. Oh, we do. She's She was barely alive. She was barely, but now she, okay, here we go. Come on. Warning, no key, no key. You just started. Maybe the key has to go in somewhere. Do I need to insert this? I don't think I should have to insert it anywhere. I don't see where I should insert it. Okay, door open, 112,000 miles. The engine is kind of smoothing out a little bit right here. Oh, I need to spend more time in an infinity. 
it's, it's nicer than just a basic Maxima, you know? This is cool. Door open. Okay, let's open the trunk. Trunk is opening. Oh, you have a rear window. Yeah, okay, this is kind of like... No, these are both heated and cooled. Okay, well, that's good. Heated and cooled seats. CD. You got all this. This is a nice little clock. Let's go to... Here we go. Oh, status. There's my status. Look at the map. Here we are. That's where we are right there. Oh, this is nice. Mikey needs to spend a lot more time in this infinity. Holy guacamole. Okay, what's that? Here we go. Let's check out the trunk first. She really does sound good. Why is she here? Look how big that trunk is. Wow. Okay. It's a big trunk. Let's kind of see. You got an owner's manual over there. There's your spare. Nice, nice. Okay. Hasn't been used too much. <laughs> it's a nice green. It's a not really a sage green, but it's, I don't know, my mother would know. She's an artist. She would know what color exactly would describe this. It's dirty and it needs hood struts. Yep. But listen to how smooth it is. There is no squeak, no rattle. The engine does not move at all. Why are you even here? This is nice. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm really kind of blown away. Let's look at the back seat. Looks cushy. Cushy for my tushy. And look, is this a speaker in the seat? Say what? It is. Well, okay, that seat's way far back. And I, have, I do have some room for my feet. Nice padded carpet. This is a cool color. I like the light color. The interior is mint. It is really mint. And more swoops. See? Even the door handle. Swoopy. We're going to call this the swoopster. Ooh. Oh. Okay, don't get creeped out. But I love this. I really do. This is nice. Okay. Who'd have thought? Air is cold. I guarantee all the windows are going to work. Okay, some of the chroming, chroming, the little plastic shiny stuff has come off. That's okay. See, of course they work. Go down. There it is. Yep. And finally, over my shoulder. There it is. Why are you here? Thank you for your business. Return for service 117,000 miles. 112 on the odometer right there. All right. We're marking this. This, I like this. Yeah. Blown away by this G37. Wow. Okay. Yeah. How many times have I said wow in this car? Amazing. Cool car. Cool video too. So I want to say thank you to uh, Copart here in Tulsa for letting me do my little walk around videos. And uh, hopefully you found something that you might be interested in. They have literally everything for everybody. All kinds of things. Motorcycles over there. Maybe I should do some walk arounds on some motorcycles or some ATVs. They've got everything. Boats. I could go into, I could do that. And motorhomes. I'm getting all kinds of ideas for this right now. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. We're back with another video very, very soon. And don't worry, this isn't the future of my channel. I like doing the walk arounds because they kind of supplement when I can't get a video out because I'm waiting on parts. I can throw out a walk around video and people seem to like them. They really do. It's fun. When I was a little kid, I used to go to the car dealers. 
on Sundays because they were closed. And I would just walk around and stick my head in my window. Stick my head in my window? Stick my head into the windows to see what's inside the cars. And it was fun to do. And this is kind of like that, but you get to start them. And you get to see if everything works. And in this car, it does. Yeah, this is cool. I really like this. Okay, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.